Caught me while I'm snacking. What you snacking on, babe? Hmm, some pistachios. What are those good for? Hmm, they're good in potassium. It's good for pregnant ladies <laughs> and hungry fishermen, mm. outdoorsmen. It's still, it's <laughs> good is, for pregnant people. This is my kitchen stool. <laughs> it's my makeshift. Let's just back out for a second. <laughs> Let's keep backing out. This is how we're starting this this vlog. <laughs> yes, my feet are burning up, sweetheart. I'm gonna stand over here in the shade. Welcome to today's vlog, y'all. First of all, I just want to say thank you for everyone that tuned in on the last one. Moving out of the parents' house. A massive, monumental day in our lives. Yeah, it will go down in history. How long was that? Five months? Yeah. We lived with our parents, with my parents, for five months. Uh, the reason is because we had to at first find a home and then ha had all the stuff going on with, with Willis and then pregnancy. It's just, it was a crazy time. We wanted to move before Willis and be settled into a house and then um, start the pregnancy process, you know what I'm saying? But life comes at you fast and here we are now. Stephanie is due September 14th. You are correct. Boom. Ooh, I'm so we're uh, we're a ways out yes and now it is time to nest so uh, we are so blessed to have this house we are absolutely in love with it we're gonna show you around it is a bit discombobulated right now actually it's a lot discombobulated we are still moving in I would have showed you it last time but it was just crazy there was nothing in there it was just boxes so now it's time to show you guys around a little bit now that we've gotten the boxes settled in gotten the room settled up a little bit welcome to the tree house. All right, let's get into the tour here. The reason that we wanted to get this particular house, it really mixes the two things that we love the most. We wanted to have a place that we can uh, raise our baby and something that just mixes uh, both of our worlds that we love and that's that's the outdoors for me. Stephanie loves the outdoors as well. You know, cooking, dietitian, um, she wanted a, a decent kitchen. So like it took so, so long to find a combination of that because I will basically live straight up in the woods. Uh, I need a little bit of internet, but other than that, I'm just, I'm happy with a cabin out in the woods. So this is a combination of both. So let's step on into the treehouse now. And y'all, let me tell you, it definitely is a treehouse. When you look around the entire home, it's just nothing but trees when you look outside, right? OSG, I just wanna come home every day and just smell the sweet smells of whatever's going on in here. Of the home cooking? We'll start out with the kitchen, your domain. My domain, well, welcome to you my- got much more room now. Yeah, much so. more room, got plenty of plate. I, when I was unboxing, I don't even know how I fit everything in our little kitchen. I don't know how you did either. <laughs> now, she's got lots of, Cabinet trees and pantry and all that stuff. You guys are going to be seeing yeah. some pretty, pretty amazing uh, recipes well, and food stuff out of this out is my of favorite, favorite thing. Look, it's a spice rack. She got her spice, spice rack. Spice rack. Getting spicy. So while I'm cooking over here, I can just reach over here and grab some spices. It's a little dark in here. It is a little dark. There's I already got my baking somewhere. section set up. This We're is what I'm some talking cinnamon about. Rolls. Yes. We talked about in the last video, pretty much every special occasion we've had in life, we like to do cinnamon rolls when it's a special time. It's we only do them a few time. times a year, and uh, now is that time. So cinnamon rolls are being made. You're gonna fill this house with the sweet smell of them cinnamon rolls. So the dough is actually rising over there. Look, let's take a look at that. Let's take a little gander. What does that look like? Mmm. That just looks like a pile of putty right now. Yeah. But it'll turn that's into something good. Effect. This is my domain. Welcome. Just saying, that's probably the main reason we got this house because it's a combination of of your kitchen needs and my and need for the woods. Woodsman. When you step out of the kitchen, you're basically right in the living room, which it's kind of a small space. But uh, we're not huge TV watchers, so it's not going to be a big deal. This is our old couch for the old house. Doesn't really fit this space. Obviously stuff is not, this is not how it's supposed to be. You don't have tripods and, and all boxes and everything. Uh, that's my, uh, that is kind of, yeah, you're used to seeing that, huh? No comment, okay. Got a couple more projects I'm gonna be working on 
on this deal. And if you remember Stephanie's office, it's kind of it kind of looks the same as far as like the way she had it, but uh, a little bit more space for her in here. She is a dietitian certified now by the state of Texas. So she's been she's been doing her practice. You're still open for business, right? I'm still open for business. So she's been doing her deal working, and this right here is going to be baby's room, baby's room, who you do not know the name of yet, uh, but we already got some some pampers. Roll it in, and I'm gonna go ahead and say the baby has a great room. Great, baby has probably the best room in the house. When you look out, it's just trees. Look at all that treeness out there for baby. He or she is going to be looking at uh, lots of birds, lots of wildlife, and that's the reason I love it, because I get to just stare at nature every day. By the way, y'all, we are planning gender reveal video as we speak right now. We're gonna do it on this channel, so you can check that out very soon. I'm not gonna show you the boring bathroom stuff. You know, this is just to get the general gist of the house and why we like it and why we're here and everything. This isn't like MTV Cribs or anything. But this room up here on the upstairs is really, I think, everyone's favorite room. My, my parents live really close to here. One of the reasons we wanted to move right here uh, is because it's so close to my mom and dad and for raising our family really helps to have family close so this is actually my mom's favorite room this is going to be my favorite room when we get done it just looks out over the, uh, the trees this is kind of how it is around the whole house you just look out and you see trees everywhere but there's basically nothing in here right now i've been doing my editing over there we are going to put deer heads up on the walls yes we are this is going to be like the little uh i'm going to come in here and hold baby Hold baby, look at the look at the deer heads, look at the ducks, maybe some fish up here on the walls, and uh, read some read some books about like survival or how to how to call in deer in the woods, something like that. And then we got our bedroom. It's a bedroom, whatever. Um, then we also have a little deck out here. Now this is why we call it the treehouse, y'all. Keep saying that, but it's for real. This is on the third deck right here see how far far down that is and you can actually see the lake right the trees are really grown in right now but the lake is right over there we'll be able to get down to the water pretty quickly we're gonna be doing a bunch of bunch of videos down there probably don't want to um, mess around up here too much it's a pretty steep fall but it is a really awesome look at the, the trees, all the nature, got the birds and squirrels coming up here. I really like this space cause I could just come out of the bedroom, get me a cup of free range coffee, get in tune with nature, get ready to start the day. You know, get that nature's in going on. That's what it's all about, man. Enjoying the great outdoors and now it's right out our back door. So it's awesome. So now that I've kind of showed you the boring stuff, I want to show you guys where you're going to be seeing a lot of videos on this channel. Uh, is is for the the fishing cave you know i've been talking about the fishing cave you guys send in so much cool stuff and i've had i had a garage at the other house i could not fit all of your stuff so now if we go downstairs it's really dark down here because it's a basement but this is going to be don't t pay too much attention to what it looks like now because it's going to be transformed into uh the bass cave the fishing cave this is going to be it it's got a little spare bedroom and stuff like that. Uh, there's a bed right here for right now. One of the fishing freaks is going to be coming down. So we got we got some extra beds and stuff to uh, stay with us. We already had a little company. If you guys remember my old office, I had my desk in there and I kind of had some mounts and stuff going on with some, you know, I had all my camera gear and all that. That's still going to be the same. We're going to do that over on this side. And then this side right here is going to be just totally transformed. This is going to be a huge wood wall. I'm going to do some projects in here. I'm going to take you guys along uh, to show you all that stuff. But fish mounts, we're going to do uh, a bunch of different just outdoor fishing, hunting, everything outdoors in here. It's going to be a big, giant wall. And I want to get a really cool wooden table and put it right in here and have, you know, my, my fishing memorabilia there and have you guys' stuff in here. The things that you've sent in and just have an outdoor creation room. So I'll be able to make uh, a lot more videos with a really cool background. It'll be really sweet. So 
Uh, that's gonna be a huge project and I'll take you guys along for that, but I'm so excited to have that. You know, in our older house, um, I just, I didn't have the space to be able to do it. Be doing a lot of live streams and extra fun stuff down here. It's gonna be full of fish, man. It's gonna be a cool fish cave. So right when we step out the door here, this is underneath the deck and then look right here. You guys know what that is, that's a silver bullet. Silver bullet is just right out here on the back doorstep. It just makes it super efficient to be able to make outdoor videos come in there and then everything's just an extension of what I'm doing outside. So just my mind's blown really how perfect this place is. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Where are you gonna put all your tackle, dude? Where is that gonna go? Well, I think I might have a spot out here. So this is the garage area. We've got a lot of work to do in here. The house actually had some foundational issues and things shifted around and so there's some walls missing. This is a house that has a lot of character but it's also had a lot of love put into it. It's unique and it, it comes with its own little problems but it's really cool at the same time. So there's just an AC handler just hanging out right here in the garage. Maybe put some Put some sponsor stickers on that, cover that thing up, you know what I mean? But I think I'm gonna make this area over here kinda like uh, any regular garage stuff and stuff like that. And then this over here is gonna be all the fishing stuff. So I've, I brought all the racks from home and I think I'm gonna do pegboard up. I still gotta finish all these walls. So a lot of projects left to do, but uh, this will be like that tackle cave that you guys were used to seeing in the other garage except bigger. I got so much tackle and so much of it is at my dad's right now. I was like, dad, you let us stay here. I'll give you unlimited tackle, whatever you want. Rods, reels, lures, he gets access to whatever, but he's still got a ton of it. So that's basically it. This is an old lake lodge community. There's a lot of cabins and stuff around here and we absolutely love it. I think it's so perfect for me and Stephanie and our baby uh, to be able to, to raise our our kid up in the outdoors, in the woods. I got so many great memories of just playing in the creeks and uh, climbing trees and all that fun stuff. So it's gonna be great. Um, there is a play set already over there. It's gonna be a while until said baby is able to play on that. So I'm not sure if we're gonna keep that in or not, but it is a pretty nice play set. It's just, it's really colorful. I think it's like crayons or something. Doesn't take very long at all when you start walking through the yard to get deep into the woods. Like I can already tell you we're gonna be doing battle with, with creatures out here, with ants, with bugs, with um, all kinds of squirrels, possums, raccoons. Uh, there's hogs and stuff that live back there. So we will be dealing with that. Should make for some good content though. The rolling has begun. Oh my gosh. They're so, they already smell amazing. I know, they're so delicate. Don't they smell good already? They smell, smell incredible. There's nothing buttery. better to go into a new house than OSG in the kitchen making them Thinjamin rolls. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I see you covering up that baby bump right there. Oh, that yeah. apron style. Oh yeah. Don't want to get the, the belly full of uh, powder. We're going to be chowing. This is definitely how we're going to be finishing this video. I don't know how long this takes, but in the meantime, I've got a story to tell the fishing freaks. Oh, you haven't told them yet. It's been hell. Uh, to, to get to this point, but I know we're supposed to be in this house. My dad actually found it. He was driving around different neighborhoods. You know, he knew we were looking for houses and this wasn't very far away. He spotted it and it hadn't, hadn't gone to uh, the main market yet. And then uh, Stephanie just sees it. And she's like, oh my gosh, I like this and just walks right on in. And she's like, you guys doing a home tour? And they're like, well, we kind of not really. And she just starts walking in. <laughs> and touring, touring the place and we're like man this has got just the combination of everything we like it's an older home and so it was built i think the year i was born so it's pretty old the couple that had it they uh they really put a lot of a lot of effort into it to to make it what it is today but anyway we were able to uh talk to the couple that owned the house we just like automatically had a connection with them i didn't know how deep that really went uh, and, until we started talking a little bit more and then we go to move into the house. I come to find out that uh, they had started uh, watching our, our videos. They found out about Willis and um, the, the wife, she had a brain tumor as well. And she almost died in a car accident. 
Uh, she had a, a seizure, uh, like the doctors were saying I would have if I didn't have my tumor removed. And that's how she found out about it. Right away, we had that connection. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is, this is crazy because even before that, they, they felt like we were the couple that were supposed to move in uh, to this house. So I just, I just know, um, I feel that we are supposed to be here. I feel like God placed us here. This is where we're supposed to be, raise our family uh, and, and grow this channel. It is amazing to wake up every day and feel that, right? Absolutely. Why are you standing over there? I don't know. I don't know where you want me to stand. <laughs> she, this, she's acting like this is a solo. You just, you just go in here and do that on the camera. No, no, I should be saying that with you right here. This yeah. is where we're supposed to you raise uh, our family. So yeah. uh, we've both had that 100% conviction. And if you also haven't figured out why it's called the treehouse, then... We can't help you there. I can't help you. We just time-lapsed forward. There was no time-lapse, but we lapsed forward. We did. Well, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Is that, is that icing? That is the icing. Don't burn yourself now. Don't Ooh. burn those gentle little arms. Put the icing on when they're nice and hot so it just melts. It smells like home. It smells like This yeah. is it now. It does. It it's smells official. Like home. My baby making making the house feel right. <laughs> Got to love it. Mm. Goodness gracious. Do you, do you have this recipe available? I'm sure people are going to ask for it. Uh, yeah, it's on my it's on my blog. It's on the blog. She's an old school kind of gal. She does blogs. Yeah, so I can have all my recipes up there. But it's there forever. It's out on the internet. You too can make these kind of things, but you gotta put some love in it. Man, I can't wait to chat out on that. This is it. You know how you have to like break a champagne bottle on a boat, on a ship, when it's official? Here at the Rackley household. At the tree house, we make cinnamon rolls to make the house official. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I think this is only gonna happen once because I think we're gonna be here a really, really long time. <laughs> but anyway, that's how we did it. Like, hey, anniversary, <laughs> cinnamon rolls. <laughs> hey, birthday, cinnamon rolls. Okay. Hey, just caught a nine pounder, cinnamon rolls. When was the first time that I made these? <laughs> yeah, the first time we were married. Yeah, yeah, that's only been once. Yeah, it was our first Saturday and we were like, you know what, let's just make those cinnamon rolls. Let's just, let's just chill in a new house, let's soak it in. And it was great, and it really made the house feel like a home. And this, this is what this is. It's making a house feel like a home. Mm. Woo, gonna put a little milk <laughs> on that right there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go for a nice long walk after this. We're gonna grab us a glorious cinnamon roll and LFD. And mom, they're on their way over here. They found us a uh, furniture cabinet for $3. Furniture cabinet? That's probably what it's called. It's an armoire. An armoire. Armoire. Whatever. However you say that. It's time. It's time. Cinnamon roll dance! Cinnamon roll dance! No, go for the center tomorrow. That's key. That's key when you're cinnamon roll eating. You go for the center on the next day. You eat the crusty ones while they're still hot and gooey. Because it continues to cook. Okay. Camera guy back there. Official sniff. Oh yeah, it's a Mondo roll. Oh yes, signs. I should bring that up. Um, I know a lot of y'all are crafted, well trained. I don't know about trained, but maybe Great. you're just good at crafting things. We've got some amazing stuff. Winston is gonna have his own little uh, artwork in this house as well that you guys have sent in. We're looking to keep this place as natural as possible, but also bring out some of the park-like elements that are here. A lot of stuff with, with wood. I wanna do some like park signs and stuff like that. So I'll give you more details on that later, but I know some of you guys are awesome. I want to feature some of your work here at the house and give you credit for it. Cause I know some of you guys are gonna send that in. And we are gonna reopen the PO box. PO box, can we list it here right now? I don't have the number, but it is. Will you have it tomorrow? I will have it tomorrow. There's okay. a lot to take in right here. I know this is a big video, but PO box is being reopened. Okay, let's just stick to the cinnamon rolls right now. <laughs> Uniform throughout there. Dang. I did it again. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's better than the last one. Oh my gosh, I'm a lucky man. <laughs> Look at the gooiness. Look at the uniform cinnamonness throughout. It's perfect. Perfectly amazing with a glass of milk. Thanks so much, honey. You're welcome. Welcome home.
God, those cinnamon rolls were good. Mm. Fueled me through the rest of the unpacking day. We still got a lot left to do, but it's going well, guys. Uh, can't thank you enough for all the all the support, all the positivity through this whole entire last year to get to this point right now. You made it. Oh, it just feels so amazing. So if you guys want to see more of this, uh, we're going to be doing more uh, the cooking, fixing up the house, uh, basically just stuff out here in nature, in the woods, uh, around the lake, lake life, basically, yes, family, watch us, uh, grow the family right here, subscribe to our other channel now, we just created it, it's the lake life family, so go over there and you'll be able to see all the uh, off the water stuff, basically. The link will be in the description for the new channel, the P.O. Box, and actually right here as well. Go click on it, right here, it's right there. Lake life, family, go do it. <laughs> and we're so excited to just be in the outdoors. Can't wait to bring you more action from here. Raise our family here. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you subscribe to the other channel. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Look at our tree house. Woo! Yeehaw!